Alright there guys, Jay here and I'm just bringing you a quick video of how to make your own YouTube profile picture or avatar which is this right here. As you can see it's got my initials JAE which also goes with my um, username and my gamer tag on Xbox Live which is XJAEXZ. So yeah, it, I had this request from a guy on YouTube, I'll just show you the message right now. It was a comment on my um, video on how to make custom thumbnails for YouTube and the, here's a comment can you make these as your channel pick thing channel pick thing being the avatar which is that right there so like I said in on a comment in that video if you have a problem with Photoshop ask me and I'll make a picture about it well not a picture a video sorry right so for your YouTube avatar you want to go to your profile, go click settings, and then this will come up, and then this will be your avatar. Click change, and as you see here, choose a JPEG non-animated GIF, BMP or PNG file. I use JPEG as it's like best quality and lowest file size. For best results, upload an 800 pixels by 800 pixels image. Do not upload com pictures containing celebrities, nudity, artwork, or copyrighted images. Maximum file size is one megabytes. Right. So to do this, you're going to need Photoshop. I will provide a link in the description and other links to be able to download it. So go on to Photoshop. Go to File, New, Preset, Custom, Width, 800. Height 800, and I just put it as transparent because that's how I like to work. So just wait for that to load, and this is your template. Well, this is your canvas, what you have to use. So, since Black Ops 2 is the newest big thing in the gaming community, and that's coming out soon, I'll be making a Black Ops 2 avatar. So, you want to go to Google, type in Black Ops 2, and it brings up pictures. I'll use this. And it's quite a square image and it's got the logo so it's going to right click copy image go back into Photoshop edit paste and there we go and then you want to go edit no sorry <laughs> oh see guys I'm not used to using these right, I'm going to use a shortcut so you want to Hold down control and press T if you're on a PC or command T if you're on a Mac. This will bring up the free transform box. You want to hold down shift on the corner, drag it. If you're wondering why you hold hold shift is so it doesn't do that. So if you hold shift it keeps the aspect ratio. And it keeps it in like the actual square image. Okay, and so it didn't don't distort so click on any of these or click the tick that was up there to apply it or press enter and there you go that's the background for it so now you want to click this button down here to create a new layer then we'll go to text tool which is the T right here wait for this to load come on load I just remembered you'd actually need to create another layer so you'll know it's loaded when it comes up with this box you just want to make a box Click a drag. Then I'm going to type in X J E X Z. I'll make this white. So click up here for a color, and then the color gradient will come up. And then I don't want that stencil text, so I'll go down here, and I'll use the text, same text that I use for mine, for my avatar, which is Dodger. So. I don't know where can we put this. We'll put it there. Right, and then say since I'm a Call of Duty commentator originally, but I also do Photoshop tutorials. So if you guys want a tutorial on Photoshop and I know it, then I will make one for you, no problem. So I'm gonna have call. No, not can. Call. Load. <laughs> Call of duty commentator. As you can see, it's 
coming up with the things with the dashes so you just want to drag the box out wider I need to make an entered space for some reason it right I'll go here just to edit it out <coughs> make the text size smaller so you want to do this you want to highlight it go up to here which is your, your size let's make it 60 and that's basically an avatar and then I'm just going to add some gradients to this so I've got a double click this, got a gradient overlay and this will be for your text I want it orange and black just like the background itself or maybe not, I don't know, it might just nah, I'll just get rid of that guys so never mind that that's basic really and that is how you create a YouTube avatar profile picture and you just want to go to file save as type in YouTube avatar don't know why I did it in capitals or whatever and then no, click cancel, sorry file, save as YouTube avatar and you want to click down here for format Go to JPEG, save. Then it has to be under one megabytes, which this is. So that's all right. But if it is over one megabytes, you want to go to here, and let the drag it to our smaller file. Take it down to like eleven. If it's still not there, take it down to ten or nine, just so it's below one megabytes. And click OK. And you go. That's saved. So let's minimize this. Minimize this. Minimize this. And that's your YouTube avatar right there. And you want to go to YouTube. So again, go to your account, go to settings, go to change, choose a file. Just wait until it loads. Go to where you saved it, which is desktop, and click that. Click open. Wait for this to load. Come on computer. Oh well, there you go, it's loaded. And you click save changes and it'll come up. I'm not gonna save changes because I've already got one. So that's how you do it guys. If you like this please like, comment and subscribe. As always, share it with your family and friends and everything on, on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, any social network site. Alright guys, thanks and I'll see you later.